Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, not sure if you've read, read any articles about uh, the uh, new army rifle that's on the horizon. It's called the XM5. It was uh, designed by SIG. And there's also, I believe it's called the XM250, which is a light machine gun. And it has a whole new round. It's a 6.8 caliber. Um, and uh, I believe the like, civilian name for it is a 277 SIG Fury. So I was kind of wondering, like, what some of the details and the specs were. Uh, just a warning, I've read a whole bunch of articles on this, and I'm kind of synthesized a whole bunch of info. So, uh, like I said, I'm not a professional, so just take it with a grain of salt and do your own research. But I was just kind of curious, because, it, you know, it's a 6.8 cal caliber. It's going to be replacing the M4. M4 is 5.56. And they said that they wanted something that was better for close quarter combat and that the rifles are going to roll out to um, infantry who are more likely to be in closed quarters, close quarters combat. So I was kind of looking at some of the specs between that and the 308 Winchester. Now just kind of bear with me for a while. Now these numbers that I got, I mean, they're really, I will be the first to admit, they're not really that meaningful because... Um, I mean, there's a there's multiple different loadings for 277 Sig Fury, and there's a bunch of loadings for 308 Winchester. There's a lot of stuff out there, so I just kind of grabbed uh, two that were kind of sort of similar in grain weight, and were amongst the first that I found because I'm just researching a YouTube video, not my master's thesis. But anyway, I digress. So, <clears throat> hope you can see this okay. But uh, what I was looking at was the you know, I, I went to ballistics by the inch for a 308 Winchester uh, to get the uh, the velocity and the energy from a 16-inch barrel utilizing a 147-grain bullet. So came up here with uh, with a 147-grain bullet, uh, 2,682 uh, feet per second, and an energy of 2,347 feet, excuse me, foot-pounds of energy, which is... A heck of a lot more than you get from 5.56 and an M4. Okay? Now, as you know, you use the 308 and an AR-10. Now, over here with the Sig Fury, you're getting 2,950 feet per second. And you're getting 2,706 foot-pounds. And the capacity on both of them is 20 rounds uh, standard, which is 33% less than an M4. Now, here's what I'm not quite getting. The M4, even though it has 10 rounds more, is considered um, lackluster for close quarters combat. So they figure they need something different. So the Army requested a 6.8 caliber uh, bullet. Okay. This is a brand new round, or a fairly new round, so the Army doesn't have anything chambered in this round. So that means that they don't have, like, millions of rounds of... 6.8 slash 277 Sig Fury hanging around. Um, they don't have basically the whole setup for it. They don't have the rifles for it. They got to buy the rifles and all that. But they already have probably have a ton of 308 Winchester, and they probably have some AR-10 rifles. The other thing is, I'm I'm getting that these Sig rifles cost several thousand dollars a piece. Now, I am not complaining about spending things on equipment for soldiers by any means, because if anyone needs it, they do. But I'm just kind of looking, and you know, if you compare what the Sig Fury does to the 5.56, five, I mean, it is substantially more powerful. I mean, you know, the, I believe in, in a 16-inch barrel, uh, I think you get something like um, 1,000 to 1,100 foot-pounds of energy from an AR. But this, the Sig Fury, again, 2,700 uh, foot-pounds of energy, I mean, that's pretty substantial. Um, the thing is, with the 308 win, you're getting 2347. So, if they wanted to go with a bigger round and a bigger rifle with reduced capacity, I'm kind of wondering why no one kind of thought to say, why don't we just go with the 308 win? Because while the 308, like I said, is about uh, probably offhand, I'd say about 18 to 19 percent uh, less in, in foot pounds of energy, that's just some rough um, math off the top of my head. It's well over twice the foot-pounds of energy from of the M4. 
and you could probably save a whole lot of money. And for me, the biggest thing, money aside, the biggest thing is that the Army probably already has massive stockpiles of 308. Uh, with the SIG, um, from what I'm understanding, is they're going to very gradually uh, make and deliver uh, the X, the XM5 rifles and the XM250 light machine guns in, uh, in small quantities to begin with. So, you know, they're going to start delivering, you know, a small amount, I think maybe like a couple hundred or something, and then they're going to ramp it up into like several hundred, then like a couple of thousand, then a couple of thousand more. And I think that in, uh, there's supposed to be like 120,000 uh, at, at the high point. Now, at the beginning, because there's not going to be a lot of guns around, SIG is actually going to produce the ammunition. After this ramp-up period, um, or I should say during the ramp-up period, uh, the Army is actually going to um, start uh, start up an old ammunition plant, I believe it's called Lake City, where they're going to produce the 6.8-277 the SIG Fury, which kind of takes me back to like a video that I had um, a while ago, like, is it better to have like more ammo for fewer calibers or more calibers and maybe less ammo? Now, of course, the Army's not like us where they have to really pinch pennies because they're pretty well funded. But it, it just, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me that you're going to go this crazy, improve. I mean, I could understand going to these lengths and expenses and taking these risks, if all you had was the M4 shooting the 5.56, five, and then you look at 2,700 foot-pounds, and you're like, oh, crap, that's phenomenal. But you got something like the 308, and the 308 chambered in an AR-10 has a similar manual of arms as an AR-15. So you have the similar manual of arms. Um, we got a lot of familiarity there. You already have a lot of this ammunition uh, stockpiled, I, I'm no, no, I just don't get it. I, I'm, I, I don't know why there's all this excitement over, over this when it's really not that much better than a, a 308. I mean, I have to be honest with you. Uh, if somebody said to me right now, um, what would you rather have? I'd rather get an AR-10 and 308. Because even though you'd figure out that the uh, the SIG is, you know, more expensive handgun, excuse me, rifle if someone's going to give it to you, you got to feed that thing. And I checked out some of the ammunition, and it's about a buck fifty a round. Um, the expectation is that's going to decrease. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, the 308, uh, right now, if you're lucky at Walmart, you can get it for about a uh, dollar or so around. So it's not like super cheap, but I mean, it adds up after a while. The other funny thing about the SIG, and I'm kind of curious about this, is it's operating at 80,000 PSI, which is pretty freaking high. <clears throat> and I'm wondering... I mean, long-term, how the rifle does. I mean, you figure SIG's already done massive testing on it and stuff, but I don't know. It seems kind of like eyebrow-raising to me. Hmm. And then it's got kind of a strange um, a strange case design where it has uh, where the head, the head of the case is made out of steel, and then the brass case is... Well, the rest of the case is made out of brass, and it's kind of fastened into place. Um... Kind of odd. I never heard about something like that being used in a like a a rifle round or, or anything like that. Um, now, don't get me wrong here. I'm going to make the assumption that the Sig the Sig um, engineers know a hell of a lot more than I do about uh, bullet construction. So don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to be a know it all or anything, but I'm just thinking like I don't know. I just stick with the 308. Just thought I'd bring that up to you, just kind of thinking out loud, because I can't really have this conversation with anyone else, because no one I know cares. And I'm figuring there's probably a few of you fellow gun nerds out there saying, either I'm wrong, and you're, you're listing the reasons in your head why I'm wrong, or you maybe you're thinking, yeah, he's on to something, he's got a couple of good points. Either way, I get to kind of spew it out and, you know, talk about it for a little while. Makes me feel better. Hope you have a good one, and uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and if you like the video, please press the thumbs up. I appreciate it. And don't forget, uh, go online, uh, Google 277 Sig Fury, um, uh, the Army's new 6.8 round. I think that's what it is, just 6.8. Uh, and then for the rifles, it is the Sig XM5, uh, the Sig XM250, 
and I'm sorry, but I forget the name of the program. It's like Next Generation. I think it's like the NGWS, the Next Generation uh, Weapon System, something to that effect. You are going to find tons of stuff. There's also uh, articles at defense.gov, so you get it right from the horse's mouth. And then, you know, some of the larger um, uh, shooting and uh, ammunition uh, websites also have some interesting articles about it. And then after you do all that, then uh, refresh your, your knowledge of the 308. It's interesting stuff. Talk to you later.